Newsreel and Yalik here with a special report on your camel news. It's certainly been a humpy week for camels across the globe. Lewis, Lewis that is, Cotswold Wildlife Parks in Oxford, England's rare male Bactrian camel has just become a first-time father. He was named after Prince Louis of Cambridge as they were both born on the same day. His as-yet unnamed calves are the first camels to be born at the park since 2018. The wild Bactrian camel, of course, you probably know it as Camellus ferus, is classically is classified as a critically endangered species and is thought to be one of the rarest large mammals on earth. Of course, last week, Newsreel reported and I sang a love song to Magnia Jafron, the most beautiful camel in the world of the Qatar Camel Fest, who won a 200,000 pound prize in the beauty contest. She beat dozens of competitors drawn from across the Middle East and of course had to undergo, had to undergo x-rays to prove she had not had cosmetic surgery or Botox treatments. And then on a more serious note, a camel killed two men after escaping a petting zoo in Tennessee, the Obion County Sheriff said. Officials from the Obion County Sheriff's Office said the fatal incident unfolded around 5.44 p.m. on Thursday when they received a call of a loose camel near Shirley Farms on South Bluff Road attacking people. When deputies arrived at the farm approximately 100 miles from Memphis. They found two unconscious victims on the ground and the camel was still on the loose. And finally, Rick Ross, the cyber-renowned farmer and hip-hopster, has been sharing several Instagram posts from his lavish trip to Dubai over the last couple of days. Ross struggled and needed, to help, needed help to climb aboard the poor camel. Jokes about the camel buckling under his large frame started flying on social media. Quote, I don't speak camel, but that camel was pleading to God at that very moment, one person wrote, while another person said, hot dessert, no water, and Rick Ross on your back? Nah, that day, th that camel's last day on earth. Over a thousand comments littered the post and a lot of them were screaming animal cruelty or calling it a crime. As Newsreel is animal friendly, I have no plans to climb aboard any camels at the Houston Zoo. And that's the way the humpy world is. See you tomorrow.